What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Paul and TJ here in the Ford Fusion for Fast Food Friday 19. Sorry, I kind of stopped because it looked like my uh, phone stopped recording for a little bit because it just freezed. So, for this special episode with lots of sentimental value, we went back to Taco Bell. And if you recall, that's where we filmed our very first ever Fast Food Friday in the Ford Fusion. And also, my battery's at 22% right now. So this might have to be quite the fast episode. If not, then I guess we'll have to come back and get the same thing on another day to finish yeah. it off. Because that's just the type of risks we're willing to take for the viewers. So we got the uh, limited time only Taco Bell $5 nacho box. So right off the bat, when I opened it, first thing you see is a lump of tomatoes and sour cream in the middle. My heart just sank out of desperation and fear. I don't like these vegetables, but I do see some cilantro, and I do love me some cilantro, so I oh, don't. I hate cilantro. We weren't, we weren't talking about you, so you're not the center of everything, and you need to understand that. Idiots. Anyways, so I can take one nacho out. It's a pretty good representation of the box as a whole. Actually, let me just dip it in this, and then it'll be a perfect representation. Some bean dip, cheese, uh, vegetal, tomato. Actually, I guess that's a fruit, which I hate. Uh, onion, and I actually do like onion. It's like some little fresh pop to the thing. Some uh, sour cream and nacho cheese, and a chip and cilantro, of course. Oh my god, we're being invaded. Just go oh. ahead, sit in the middle. Oh, all right. eh. Eh. For some reason, it took forever to get it. No, it's okay, we just started actually. Yeah. So, anyway, please welcome Oven. Hello. <laughs> Who? Oven. This is, this is a total stranger. I just came up with a name for him. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. This is a total stranger in the back seat who just opened our car door and got in because uh, we were reviewing. Yeah. And yeah, I wanted to be viral. I wanted to go viral. Yeah. So and he actually got food from a different restaurant. So this is a hybrid video, which is perfect because we're in a hybrid car. <laughs> so, what'd you get of him? At Freddy's. Like, what'd you get from Freddy's? <laughs> I got the five-piece combo, five-piece chicken tender combo. Nice. So is that like fries and a drink? Five fries, a drink, and five tenders. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the first bite. Yeah, me too. Three, two, one. You can go ahead too. No. Just froze up there for my thousand dollar camera. Just froze up there for a second. So I don't know how. And I just like to apologize because that nacho I took is a really poor representation of the steak nachos box because they didn't have steak on it. So let me just have a little piece of steak. I wish I had a fork. So this is kind of disgusting. Just want to stick on it. Mmm. That is good steak. Very good steak. Actually. Very impressed with Taco Bell. That first chip was actually quite awesome. I just, Paul and I just got back from soccer. I don't know about the stranger in the back seat. I was just walking around on the sidewalk and I saw them doing their view. I was like, hey, why don't I join in on this? Dude, that's a crazy sauce. <laughs> Anyways, so we got the normal chip, right? They're just room temperature. And then the uh, beans, steak, cheese, on this seem to be warm because the box itself is warm I'm holding it and it can feel warmth on the palm of my hand the sour cream and tomatoes and the cilantro add a nice chill of refreshing flavor so uh, actually I actually already had a tomato and I hate to say it but I might have enjoyed it I did like the refreshing feeling it brought me Hmm. 
and Baja Blast because you always have to get Baja Blast from Taco Bell. Honestly, my favorite soda in the world. Same. Second would probably be orange soda, like the entire crush. Sun kissed. If you're into that kind of stuff. Hmm? So stranger, tell us about your food. <laughs> so what I've had so far, I'm just eating the fries right now from Freddy's. I will say they are pretty good, and they do put a lot. Whenever they give you a fries, they decide to overfill it and also put a whole bunch in the bag, so you get more than what you paid for. That's nice. So how much is your meal as a whole, Owen? As a whole? Like, oh, actually, you had the coupon. But how much would have it cost you? It would have cost... Like eight? Seven like or eight? Eight, fifty, kind of, okay. around that range. A little on the pricey side. Yeah. I would never be willing to pay more than $10 for a fast food meal. Unless you got like a shake instead of a drink. Like a large. But Same. these nacho boxes, limited time only. So come get yours now and they're five bucks. Very affordable. So what say you? They're good. What were you looking at? The car. So, we're surrounded by cars, so <laughs> which one went with that be? Condolences, viewers. My $1,000 camera had full storage space because I forgot to delete the last FFFFs that I have already uploaded. We also have two special little clips coming to you. Um, one is me at work at like midnight, and the other one is the very exclusive and awesome camping adventure we will be bringing you guys shortly. The uh, video actually will probably be out by the time this one's uploaded, so just forget I said that. <laughs> Anyways, so Paul was staring at a Subaru Baja. I don't know if that got in that last clip, and they made the really awesome joke Subaru Baja Blast. <laughs> Good one. So unfortunately, as all nachos have, the ones that got drenched are like really soggy and soft in the middle. It's actually quite repulsive and disgusting, but I think I'm gonna eat it anyway. Those ones are the best. They have a fork. So, uh, stranger. Yes. Tell us about your chicken tendies. So, for the chicken tenders, I would say... So, uh, sorry, chicken what, Owen? Tenders? Tendies. Tendies, I'm sorry. <laughs> for the chicken... Oh, sorry, oven, sorry. <laughs> the for the Owen. chicken tendies, I really like them because they're very crispy, and the chicken, I think, is cooked really good. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> so, you like it a lot? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh recommend going to Freddy's, but sometimes, I would admit, it's sometimes a little overpriced. Mm. You know, not everyone's like financially stable enough to be eating Freddy's. Yeah. Like, if you have your last eight bucks and you have to eat, you won't be able to go to Freddy's and yeah, get a meal. You could go to Taco Bell. Yeah, there you go. McDonald's. Wendy's, Burger King. So I like the larger chains. We also have the YouTube um, food review discount. So oh, that's yeah. always really nice to have. But uh, I've actually never used it because I always forget. Yeah, we forgot again today. Be sure to do it next time. Yeah. Oh, these chips actually have quite a bit of salt on them. Not quite sure if that's just how the chips are, or if it's a brilliant marketing strategy from Taco Bell to serve for someone that only got the box to buy a drink too. Smart. 
you know, you can get you can get a water heater. Sorry, viewers. Apparently, a FedEx truck outside. It's quite obnoxious. Probably can't hear you. You probably can't. So, viewers, there's a really loud FedEx. <laughs> Was it two mailmen or just one? One. Because I guess like, oh, he has napkins. Oh. Oh yeah. So when we were in there, Cogabo was completely out of napkins. They had to use paper towels to give to people. <laughs> yeah. You can say that again, Owen. Who? Oh, uh, oven. Sorry. I just always get confused. Because like, oven's usually not a name. It's like an appliance. Mm -hmm. Like Owen is. So, anyways, yeah, that obnoxious sound was the the FedEx monster truck next to us, just idling next to our peaceful hybrid Serenity. So, Oven. Yes. Can you give the viewers a vivid? detailed description about why to go to Freddy's for chicken tendies instead of other places? Well, in my opinion, um, I don't actually know that. <laughs> well, you heard it from himself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what's your favorite place to get chicken tendies from then? Me? McDonald's. McDonald's? Indeed. Very interesting, actually. It's probably the last place I would go for chicken tendies. Really? Maybe. I've never had McDonald's chicken tendies. I've had chicken leggies there. Oh, yeah. Not that good. I loved them as a kid. But as I've aged and my wisdom has increased, I've come to realize that other places, chicken tastes more like chicken. Alright, let's get to the review before my phone dies. You start off. Alright. Well, overall, I really like them. Um, so. so, you want to give it like a Yeez rating? Or? Oh, oh, sure. Um,. I'll use the Y scale, give it a Y, 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 Nine? Yeah. Hmm. The only Y that was missing was because of the tomato vegetables. Really? Yeah. Don't like those tomatoes. I'm gonna have to go with a Y, 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 An eight. An eight? An eight. Why? Um... I give the KFC we had last time a 9. I just don't think this is... Oh, sorry, two times ago. It's like the last time we had food food because the time before this was Starbucks. It was like drinks. So anyways, I give that KFC a 9 and I just don't think this is as good as that KFC. For the same price, actually. The only thing I do like better in this is the drink because they have Baja Blast here. So, 8 E's for me. A vin I give it a yee 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 Nine yees. So, re I will say, the meal is... I, I like the meal, but when I ordered it from Freddy's, it took forever to get it. Like, I was in the drive... I was just sitting there for, like, at least eight minutes just waiting for one thing. Hmm. And I even saw people in there getting their food, and I was like, where where's mine? <laughs> 
was like, there's no way you're giving it to them and I'm not getting mine. Did you already finish your entire meal? Yeah. Oh, wow. I guess I might just show the viewers that we got more food at Taco Bell. Than at Oven, oven Good at oh, yeah. Freddy's. And it costs less. Yes. Sure. sure did. So look at this piece of steak I have. It might look bad because like the lighting is not very you know, good in the shade. Hopefully it's focused, but it doesn't look like it. I looked really appetizing in person and it tastes amazing. So I guess we'll just have a regular conversation to link this video as much as possible until the the phone dies. So that'll be like a quite awesome ending. So did you need something? Hmm? Did you need something? Yeah, you. <laughs> I did not need anything. So why are we making faces at the camera? <laughs> I wasn't. I saw you actually. I wasn't. And I'm actually gonna. I always rewatch it for like he's gonna, he's gonna editing purposes to tell my editor what he needs to edit out. So yeah, I saw you make that face. So I'm gonna see it again. So I don't want you lying to me on camera. I'm exposing this mean person. Sorry for my language, but exposing this mean person on camera. Get exposed. I'm sorry. That was actually probably the worst apology I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> so congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Please stop looking at me. So. It's very hot in here. As our amazing guest star, Mason, has said, it's like a heat blizzard. And Some blizzard. Well, he said both. Yeah, he can't make up his mind which one it is. Both yeah. At the same time. It's a heat sun blizzard. And... I forgot my white cooling sweatshirt at home, but I wish I could have one.